Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Danielle, the founder of the Investiva movement. On Thursday, we found out that the U.S. weekly jobless claims rose modestly while the labor market remained solid. Mnuchin said White House has started to work on the second round of tax cuts to boost growth. Britain's parliament has passed the legislation necessary to take it out of the European Union next week. In its first rate decision of the year, the European Central Bank's Governing Council voted unanimously to keep the main deposit rate at a historic low of minus 0.5% in line with the market expectations. On Friday, we're mainly expecting the PMI data out of the Eurozone, the UK, and the US. Today, I'm looking at the dollar Swissy pair, which once again bottomed out after reaching the key support level of 0.96. As you might know, the dollar Swissy pair mainly travels in a range. The core range is between 0.97 and 1. While sometimes it widens up to the next supports and resistance levels as low as 0.92 and as high as 1.03 respectively. These are of course unless there is a black Monday like we had back in January 2015. It looks like this time around the pair found support at 0.96 and may be now ready to continue up to the upper band of the range. I would cap profit targets at 1 for now, unless we find more solid bullish signals just to be safe. Now I'd like to hear from you. Do you think Dollar Swissy has bottomed out? Let me know down in the comments. Of course, trading the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates next week.